I thought you were joking, and now that I realize that you aren't, that makes me furious. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to break your nose twice, repair it, pay for all the surgeries, and then absolutely break it again. <laughs> no, you oh. sound stupid. Cut that out. You don't sound stupid. You are stupid. <laughs> there we go. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Dropout's Podcast, the 22nd best podcast in the world, according to my mom. Um, <laughs> she does, She's not a big fan, and she doesn't listen to podcasts. So mom can making list. 22 podcasts? Yeah, what the yeah, heck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, what? there's one she's never ever listen to that are even above us which is concerning <laughs> she's just like i like their album art on like itunes yeah. and stuff like that what's up b worlds welcome back to dropouts episode 17 we got a little bit of a spooky theme going on today also jared might have gotten a girl pregnant over the weekend but we'll I, no, talk about that, talking yeah, about that. i'm gonna roll the intro music what the f- Jared, I told you to wrap I, it up. It's pretty easy. Are you Whoa. for real? Is this for real? No, this isn't for real. Zach, uh, it's a little bit for real. No, Zach, it's not. Zach. Did you or did you not have to buy a plan B? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, what the f***? Exactly. Did I miss? You missed that. Do I explain. Did. Okay, Jared. Um, Wait, Zach, look at me. I'm for real. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Um, as the kids say, Jared's been slinging this. that thing around. Wait, different girl than last week? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And apparently she called him daddy in bed twice. <laughs> Three times. Ew. But do explain what you had to buy her plan B. Really? You didn't wrap it up? Come on, dude. Listen, it was like, it Spur was the, the moment. heat of the moment, you know. Wait, and who is this? Is this the... The girl that you were telling me about? No, actually. Oh, different girl. <laughs> I, I, didn't, <laughs> New girl. I, I didn't end up going on that date. Uh, this is Tinder girl number three. Oh. He's been swiping right like crazy, baby. Listen, Tinder hits me up for those swipe surges. I'm like, let's boogie. He's got- uh, He said, let's boogie. He's got Tinder premium now. I don't have Tinder premium. <laughs> That'd be sad. I Dude, Tinder premium is so expensive. Because like, like, you know how it like- Like 30 bucks a month? Yeah. Fuck. But then you can see who likes you, so it saves you a lot of time. I bought it one month. I, mean, I bought I it guess, for one but... month for our Tinder video. Yeah, that's what it was. It was, <laughs> and you know it. You were there when I bought it. You went I... on four dates in a day, which I, I definitely... thought was a little excessive. <laughs> and then you said, I don't gotta know be, what- You got to be, what you call it? What's the word? I don't know. What um, word are you looking for? What's the word? Put all mm. your efficient. Eggs. efficient. Gotta be go. efficient with it. Get it all done in the one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No changes. No four days of hair and makeup. Yeah. No four dinner dates. It's just breakfast, lunch, afternoon, tea, dinner. Get it the all unfortunate done. part is you don't know which one's going to be the father. Um, yeah, I don't. Oh, I don't. Man. So <laughs> I had to go joke. buy a few Plan Bs. That's really uh-huh. on these pregnancy jokes. She's on Plan B, C, D, E, and F. <laughs> <laughs> I remember though. But like, when- explain what was it like going and buying a Plan B? Awkward, right? Not that I would know. Why did Cut you that set out. up this bit? My friend had to go. Oh, this is not a bit. No, it's a bit. Of course, it's a bit. I didn't oh. actually buy. Jared's pants. never had sex. <laughs> his whole life's a bit. I didn't buy Plan dude, B. Dude, That'd his parents so have, dark. His parents had... didn't even have sex to have him. You think he's had sex? <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, get it together. I was oh, conceived Jesus. in a doctor's office. That's hilarious. Amen. No, I didn't actually buy Plan B, but I, I did. He did raw dog her in the back of a Kia. So. Goodness, oh, man. <laughs> Mom, no. if you're listening. Uh, again, we're sorry for the a, sexual podcast. Yeah, we, no, no more sex, sexy sex stuff. Let's okay, talk then, about something wholesome. Well, no, oh. no, no. I want to talk about, so I just remember when you guys were doing your Tinder video, I found Indy on Tinder. And this was before, like, I oh. knew. Did you swipe right we or left? We didn't know each other. We didn't really we know didn't. each other. But I knew I knew you were 17 at the time. And, of course, you can't be 17. Did you swipe that? right or left? You swiped right so we could match. That's Jared's a pedophile. Yes. No. I remember, but I screenshotted it. I was like, is Indy trying to make someone catch a case right now? I was like, what is she doing? And then Zach's like, no, it's for video. And I was like, man, that's a lot less fun. She got more cases than Deal or No Deal. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Let's start talking about something How do you wholesome. Think of these so fast. I don't know. I've wondered that like literally I'll take for the past Briefcase years. number 10, though. Okay, but I didn't end up going on that. that Why not? Because so before. Wait, real quick. Ne- let what? me set this up. Jared had been talking to me about this girl. You all seem to be having some wholesome conversations, some, some good cute, conversations. little nice fall conversations. So what happened? So she was like, hey, do you want to maybe like FaceTime before we like hang out or whatever? Just like have a like. People a do conver- that. Yeah, I know. So I was, why, I he just, has FaceTime dates on the roof. He goes to the roof and like sets up like a little. I, <laughs> I, do you really? do you explain I told you this in confidence. What do you do? Well, because you like, he, does he light a candle? I think he might. Do you light a candle? <laughs> there's no light up there. And I oh, do it up that's there. Why. I do it up there because there's no, we live with, you know, I live with, you know, you and like two other people. So there's Allegedly. no privacy here. And I like I don't want to be FaceTiming in the living room because then anybody walking out can just hear me. And I don't want to do it in the room because you're there. 
And so I'm like, and then Zach will be like, yeah, Zach's just listening in the whole time. That's dude. Weird. I would. You've listened in on me before. Yeah, but that's different because I was trying to go to bed. Wow. And like I had my headphones in, and I was like, I was being the perfect wingman for you. Um, but so we had a FaceTime date, and then so like I call her, and she's a to start off didn't look like her pictures whatsoever. Really? Ooh. Like how much different? Okay, so she didn't have like. Would you kiss her if you had the opportunity? No. Oh, but she would has you an kiss her photos? face. I would kiss her photos. Nice. Hence Let's why print I them out. Right. Let's print oh. them out. We'll Not kiss them out. That. Nope. And then it was like it was one of those things. Okay, I said in an earlier podcast where you're like, "What's the best thing like a girl can wear?" And it's I. I was like, I quoted Drake. I was like, sweatpants, hair tie, chilling with no makeup on. Right. That's like if we're if we're dating or like if I'm really into you and you're like. You know, whatever. You're, you don't need to impress anyone. You it's don't need to like, impress Aw. anyone. But this is the first time that she and I are talking like face to face, to face and like not over text. And she's in her pajamas, which are Lilo and Stitch pajamas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Take a surf. <laughs> and uh, was it, wait, what's the what? song? I don't know. I never watched Lilo and Stitch. Um, that Hawaiian what? roller Be- coaster. I'm a bead by and bada we're booba. copyrighted. Yeah, I never watched it, actually. Ah, I've okay. never. But that's continue. one of my favorite Disney So she's Disney wearing the ever. Lilo and Stitch So pajamas. she's wearing that. She's not wearing any makeup. And I'm not saying like it was No, like, I get what you're saying. It just felt like she didn't put any effort she in. She didn't try at all, you know? And I was like, And it's like if she was like wearing no makeup, but like, you know, put in an effort to put on clothes, yeah. it would have been a different situation. It would be different. She's like, she, you know. You just could tell she could didn't care. Yeah. And then also, so like there's that. So I was already kind of put off by that. And then we were talking, you know, we're talking about like favorite movies and what are you doing? With I'm the holding pumpkin? a pumpkin during our spooky. And oh, if you guys are not watching on YouTube, uh, the set is spooky themed. Yeah, we got a spider web. I got my little skeleton dog. And a little skeleton dog right there. Um, that looks like Checkers, your dog. I know, oh, that's why I got it. That's like why checkers. I got it. It's a little oh, morbid, no? Oh. oh, no, I like it. It's like a spooky <laughs> Checkers. Well, well, it's a dead Checkers. Or he's dead. He's absolutely <laughs> got killed. <laughs> I assume because he went in the kitchen. I almost <laughs> killed my dog today. Well, <laughs> hold, hold on. Can you with your story? Then I'll tell you how I almost, I almost killed my dog. Peter's typing, but go ahead. <laughs> it was but, not on purpose. So like a big thing for me, obviously, is music. Right. And I was talking to her. I was like, how do you feel about country music? And she's like, I hate it. Ew. And she I was, ne- I'm glad you didn't go on this date. And I was like, I was like, really? Like, you don't, you don't like it at all. And she's like, can't stand it. Then I can't stand you. Bye. Thank you. I was just like, I was like, you like, even like, I was like, Luke Combs, like he has such. If you can't slow dance in the kitchen to Luke Combs with oh. the love of your life, oh. it's, it's, I don't want it. I don't want it. And so she was like, I can't stand it. And I was like, that's how I know. It's not it. It's not it. I'm sorry, but if you can't just be in a truck blasting country music, then what? what like, what's what the point? You, what's what the is, point? What is the point? Anyway, like the date that we're, I'm really glad I didn't go because the date that we were supposed to go on, I didn't realize, but like the ticket we're supposed to do like the night Nights of the jack yeah that's like a long thing it's like a it's like a, a long of, it would be awkward it would be awkward and then also the tickets are like 70 dollars. and i yeah. was like Jeez. whoa tomorrow, tomorrow i'm going with eight of my friends to one of those drive-through experiences and i think for eight of us it was 200 bucks which Holy is like hell. We'll split it. we're all paying for it so yeah, it's like yeah. 25 bucks each which is not that bad it's at not all. that bad but um it's like you have to roll down all your windows and they come at you in the car like i'm pretty excited but, Speaking of Halloween things, okay. Um, well, should I talk about my dead dog or? Well, he's not dead, but my almost dead dog. Or should we get into Halloween? Um, well, well I don't <laughs> think we could breeze past your dog almost dying. Yeah. Well, it's really not that dramatic. Um, I accidentally left my like as I went into my car from my office because that's how I get to my garage. You threw him in the dryer and turned it on. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, I accidentally left my door open and then he came running out of my outside. Yeah. Like, and oh. he was right behind my car and I was like backing up and I almost hit him. I literally was like this close. Oh, child. But he didn't get hit. He's fine. Um, he's all good. That dog also takes any chance that it can to kill to himself. Just, yeah, like he <laughs> like, will just he will jump like six feet from. Yeah. Well, that's not that high. But I've seen him fall down your steps because he was too too excited. Yeah, he's just you. Zach, did you have something to say? No, I um stopped you, my mom. I stopped my mom. I stopped myself from making <laughs> a joke about your mom because you said you almost hit him, and then I was gonna say, speaking of, of hitting, hitting things, things, how's your mom? And I didn't say that, and I want to <laughs> say I should get a gold star and a present. Well, your presents there, the spooky basket. I made them spooky baskets. Yeah, we got spooky. Baskets. We got spooky baskets for I'm, the Halloween es- episode. She got us all presents. What did we get her? I, our presents. I've never liked somebody <laughs> enough like to buy them spooky baskets, and I've always wanted to make them. And got a spooky spider. Oh Apple. wow! Throw it back. 
Goal! I was about to say Kobe. Ah, too soon. No, too not soon. too soon. Rest Congratulations to the Lakers. They won the they finals. Did. That was really exciting to see. Zach has like kind of turned me into a basketball guy. Zach kind of turned me into acting like I like basketball. Oh, yeah. You don't like basketball. <laughs> I did watch the finals, though. Okay. Name three players. James LeBron. Anthony Davis and some she Justin. Said, she James said James LeBron. LeBron. She wasn't close. I thought you were joking, and now that I realize that you aren't, that makes me furious. <laughs> oh my god! I want to break your nose twice, repair it, pay for all the surgeries, and then absolutely break it again. <laughs> I said James LeBron. I know what you said, and it infuriated me. No, you oh. sound stupid. Cut that out. You don't sound stupid. You are stupid. There we go. LeBron we go. James, Anthony Davis. And something green, the guy that really effed up that last three point shot. Danny Green. That guy. There you go. Don't Zach. look at me like you knew. <laughs> you got help from a friend and then hey, you looked at me. I was close. That's better than what I did ever before. <laughs> oh, that that was a tough sentence grammatically. Okay. She's working on her words. I'm working on it. I'm still learning English. It is what it is. Zach, didn't you get her a spooky little gift? I forgot about that joke, Jared. Oh, you forgot about that joke? I got you I got you the scariest present of all. You ready? Close Seconds. your eyes. Close no, your eyes. No, no. Oh, close no your eyes. you got to close your Do eyes. I actually, am I getting something? Yeah. yeah. You actually have to close your eyes, though. Yeah, you got to close oh, your eyes. What close is it? No, you got to close your eyes. Just is close it going to hurt eyes. me? No, it's not going to hurt you. Jeez. Is it gross? No. Actually, close your eyes. My eyes are really close. Okay, I want you to put your hands over your eyes. There you go. No, I have really big trust issues with you guys. Uh, okay. No, hey, please thanks. Don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please. We're not going to hurt. Jeez, is this what she thinks of us, Zach? You promise? Yeah, my eyes are closed. <laughs> okay. Are you going to hit me? No, we're not going to hit you. Is Jesus gonna, is Christ. It is it a snake? No, it's not a snake. No, 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 wait, no, I'm scared. It is the scariest thing Stop ever. Look, look, look. Because <laughs> it's a I mirror. It's a dumb joke. I tried. It's not funny. That was stupid. Oh, uh, I thought that was hilarious. I was really scared that you were gonna like. She really thinks that like we're gonna hurt her. No, I don't think you're gonna hurt me, but I thought you were gonna either like put an animal on me. Put an animal on you. I didn't put Jared on you. Uh, that was for my boy. That's the only button I'm pushing from now on. Have cancer. I ever told you my um, homeless guy? Oh no. Uh, homeless guy gas okay. station story? No. Okay, so I pull up to a gas station, and this was in my mom's old car and for some reason the back seats they didn't lock so it's about 9 30 at night i'm coming back from like a tennis match and i park to get a gatorade before i go back home and i noticed i kind of noticed a sketchy guy just like milling around i was like all right that guy's weird i'll go in be fast come back out so i come back out and he is nowhere in sight that's terrible and i thought i don't like that it's a little scary okay and no, i get don't yeah this is my yeah. worst nightmare. I get in the car. I drive about 15 feet before I hear. <laughs> he is drunk out of his mind. He took it. He just started sleeping in the back of my car. I you never check. See, this is how I know boys and girls are very different because girls and every single girl can vouch for me. If you were if you were a girl driving by yourself, the first thing you do when you get in your car is check your back seat. I slammed on the brakes. <laughs> I've never been more scared in my entire life. And I jetted out of the car. I'm like, what are you doing? What? Are He's got like a like a bottle and like a brown paper bag. No, <laughs> not, it's not that spot. It's just a handle of something. Okay. And he would not get out of my car. I had to go get the store clerk to come out and we had both yank him out of my car. Are you serious? Yes. Are you actually for real? And he left doo-doo he? stains in my car. Ew. Oh, did he really? Yes. This is how I know oh. boys. And, like, that's crazy to me because that... that situation would never ever happen to a girl like meaning they would never drive 15 feet because the first thing girls do is check the back seat because we're scared that somebody's gonna be back there and like i don't know kill us i <laughs> named him sam, sam. i asked him his name when it was like i was like what was your name just to be funny he said bop, bop, bop. <laughs> <laughs> so i was like it's probably sam i would have gone like, with like bobby or something you know no bop, 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 he looks like bobby. a sam jared you knew that that happened in uh in south georgia oh we're we're going Jared, do you know I'm going to South Georgia? You're going to South Georgia with us? Does he not know? What? Yeah, he knew. Well, I did. I kn I knew you wanted to, but I didn't know if you had like decided she or not. She's gonna buy the tickets tonight. I'm going to Georgia. Are you really? Oh, that's so exciting. I didn't know if you were gonna want me to go. Are we gonna bring this up here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know if we should get into the talk right now. So wait, 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 wait. Yesterday, I saw a homeless guy jacking off at a bus stop. <laughs> First of all, that was me, and I didn't think you saw me, and I apologize, okay? And I was thinking of you. I was just, like, I was pulling up to the stoplight, and, like, I was like, 
man, does that guy have like no pants on or just never, a really short You never understand. You never. Yeah, you never know rap. when a horniness is going to hit. You just have to get off. I got you. No. <laughs> I was saying you never are able to fully grasp what's going on until you Oh, trust you really me. He like- was fully grasping it. <laughs> And then I pulled no. up and I look over and he's just, <laughs> I was like, nope, not for me. I'm not stare for me. straight I'm ahead. Was, was he looking at you? Changing? Was he looking at you? Oh, we made eye contact. It was <laughs> not good. Did he so finish awkward. in your eyes? No. <laughs> no, did he finish looking at you? Oh, uh, that would have been beautiful though. I've already said recently that I saw a homeless man's penis right outside of our what? apartment. I don't know if you, oh, I remember you telling me about that. What is wrong with you? What is we wrong all, with us? We all what have is home- wrong? Yeah, like we're the ones walking around. I was going to say we all have homeless man out. stories, but I think I've told none. Yeah, where you got chased down? That was episode one. And I like called... Zach right after and I was like <gasps> I think I almost got kidnapped. <laughs> that so. seems like so long ago. Yeah. Well that was seventeen weeks ago. It was so long ago. Speaking of um weird things happening in public, where are the logos on your car? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, I wanna I haven't Zach told me he was like, Apparently somebody stole a logo off I'm the so front of her car. I'm so pissed about it. Let's not What happened? You don't I was, want to talk about it? No, we can talk of course <laughs> I'm gonna talk about it. I'm just oh, okay. mad about it, bro. Like I was parked around West Hollywood, um, near like Melrose Trading Post area. Came back to my car. My logos were gone. Dang. So. So if you got the Honda logos. Wow, they really. Like, I'm just mad because my car looks bootleg now. It's like, what is she driving? Is it fake? Huh? Is it, <laughs> is yeah. it fake? Somebody no, went through the effort. Of, no, but it's just so annoying. Uh, I got to see this now. Yeah, it literally is just a. I took a photo. I love how somebody really went through that. Your flashlight's on. Oh, no, it's, they're super easy. They get stolen all the time. People use them like back in like the, I'm going to say like back in like the 60s, 50s. Back in like the 1600s? Back in like the 60s or something. Like my, my pop used to. Sorry. I I had to, I had to think about what button that was. Back in like the 60s and 70s. My grandpa actually told me that he used to go around popping logos off cars and put them on belt buckles. Oh, that's kind of hard. And like wear them as like belt buckles. But, um. No, mine's like a giant one. The mine it's pretty big. It's the like really big one at the front. It's about this size, like size of a dinner plate. And you can just like get a screwdriver. Well, I'm not gonna tell people. <laughs> you I just take a screwdriver it. and you pop it off. Yeah, pretty much. You just pop them off, and I'm really pissed about it because I came back to my car and um, they were gone. Oh my god, so that looks just, so bad. I know it's just gone. So wow. to the asshole that did that. And Thank you. F- you. You think he listens? Okay, hear me out. Listen to my week. Nice listen, listen to my week. Okay, let's real hear your quick, week. right? Yeah, my wardrobe collapsed on me pretty much. Your, um, yeah, okay. like my wardrobe shelving and one of the racks completely broke in my wardrobe because it was filled so much. So I had to completely redo my wardrobe and like reorganize it, fold stuff, whatever. I spent four hundred dollars on laundry. My car logos got stolen. Man, you've had just that's a great it. week. That's, that's <laughs> She's like, how is this bad? Oh, and I'm bleeding. So there's that. Oh. that? Oh. oh, we're at the end of the week though, so we're good. I oh. saw like a shark near our apartment. I was like, what could that be? You know what's funny? I, I saw a bear near here. Oh. And yeah, those like, uh those handprints are from me, my bad. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Would you play patty cake with your snatch and then <laughs> and then put it on the wall? That's disgusting. <laughs> Would you play patty cake with you? I apologize. You should after that one. That's the first thing that came to my mind. That worries oh. me. Do you know what I mean? What? Imagine if he had time to think about these things. If that's the first thing that comes to his mind, imagine if he put thought into it. Did you hear the things I don't say? So I was going through old photos and this indie kind of like it. Rem- Anna. It, no, you not say her full name or what? you don't say it at all. Oh, Indiana. No, don't say that. That's Be weird. respectful. No. No, I got you. Hey. We're good, okay? I'll handle it. All right, all right. I'm sorry. Indiana. Hey, that's Indiana. That's my bad. Okay. Slut. (laughs) You calling me a slut or her a slut? I would never call her a slut. I'm calling you a slut. Anyway, when (laughs) Zach was bringing out her gift and she was like, I thought you guys were going to put an animal on me. It reminded me of, there was all the way back in March, there was like a three or four day period where Zach and I owned a chicken. Oh! And I forgot about Claudia. Y'all never spoke about it? No. No, we never talked about it. Okay, because like the whole thing, it was back when, and she's just throwing trash around our apartment again. Well, no, that's going back into the fridge. Yeah, I know. It was back all the way in March when we had a show that like inspired the diner set called Zach's Diner, and it got cut because like it just wasn't work. Like it's a funny concept, couldn't execute it right. It was not a funny show. But we had Indiana on a guest, which is like how- Isn't that weird? Right? That's how the three of us like Started all came like, together, yeah. you know? And the whole bit was like Indiana, obviously, on a show called Chicken Girls. And so we were we bought 
a chicken from a random guys, guy. How much was it? It was 20 bucks. Like chickens <laughs> are very affordable. <laughs> oh, just like, yeah. Chickens, you can get chickens 15 minutes east for 15 bucks, 20 bucks, depending on the chicken. Literally, depending on the chicken? From a guy that doesn't know English. Yeah, we went to Craigslist and I searched up chicken LA and the guy was like, it was like Van Nuys. And I was, I texted him. I was like, yo, can we pick up a chicken? He's like, sure. Pick up 12 if you want. I don't care. Yeah, we kept, he was kept, you should kind of upsell us. He's like, yeah, he what kept, if we do like uh, 17 chicken? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we and, only need one. one. We and need a rooster one. to like. And we get a rooster to uh, populate, you know, yeah. like more chickens. So like the whole thing, we were going to have a, we are going to bring a chicken onto the set. Indiana was going to order chicken and it was going to be a live chicken. That was the bit. The chicken wouldn't shut up in our apartment. So we had it. Uh, we built a pen at in the Brighton's backyard house. at Brighton's house. And of course the night before that we we're supposed to film gets eaten by coyotes. Destroyed. Like feathers everywhere. Feathers and Claudia, every she had her first egg and the egg yeah. also was eaten. By how do you uh, guys, how do you guys know it was eaten by a coyote? There's no way anything oh, else. No, there's just feathers. And yeah, it was destroyed. Oh yeah, it was And like torn up. It had to be a coyote. Oh, you saw it? Well, no, it no, took no, no, the no. chicken. It, it took the chicken. Oh. We just saw like a we couple just saw the feathers. fragments. Yeah. But, I found the clip. Oh, we're ch Claudia got loose? I should play that clip too. I'm gonna play it right here. Claudia? Claudia. Hey, Claudia. Claudia. Do not act up, Claudia. Come here. Claudia Elizabeth Marie, if you're gonna run for us, Claudia, do you want to be sent to your room, Claudia? Claudia, Claudia, we got her. We got her. Got her. You're a very naughty girl, Claudia. Oh God. Why Claudia? Claudia Actually, the cluckster. My bad. He looked at oh, me like I would. I should have. Claudia the cluckster. I found a clip of the bit where so instead. We just bought a rotisserie chicken. And, that was disgusting. And I found that clip, and I, I, I just want to play it so that like we could react. This is, to by it the real way, real quick. quick. This is what the. F Whoa! She <laughs> said, "I want my hair, hair pulled back as absolutely <laughs> tight as it can be." <laughs> we just not talking about. It. All right. Here. Um. Real quick. This oh. is before Zach and I like really rekindled our friendship, and we weren't. Why do you look fourteen? <laughs> yeah, look you look really so young. So young. Back. Thank you so much. Actually, we're going to share it. So if you could. Ew! <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, are you more of like a wing or a leg girl? <coughs> you kind of just like dive in the middle. How old is that? It's, I uh, think, a week. Oh, my God. Here's hey. yours. Look at me, courteous. <laughs> so it's just that little what clip. The but the, the grossest thing about that was that. It had been in the fridge for a little bit, and so like yeah. the juices had like Chicken become juice. like, it's like coagulated, it's like, and just, like it's all it was so gooey. gross. It became and he a just, slime. He just Zach is just like okay. This is like Zach and I had not like rekindled our friendship whatsoever, so we hadn't really sat down and had a full on conversation for like two years at this point, and so like right. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. He's so I don't nonchalant know. about it. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. <laughs> Whatever. And so like he just manhandled it in the gelatin Ugh, so disgusting i cannot get that f***ing image out of my head when he like slaps his hand down and pulls it across it look the aftermath looked like a slug it was and it just so left a trail of slime oh so my bad for bringing dinner <laughs> Goodness. But yeah, i just wanted to share that clip because i thought that was probably one of the funniest moments from that show and it's never going to see the light of day besides hey, that hey jared uh -oh. Why do you have a candle on your desk if you don't light it? Because I was gonna light it, Ooh, but then it was the gonna... bear's nose will get too hot. Yeah, the bear's nose will get too hot. Oh, I'm was... sorry that your inanimate object might get hurt from it. My bad. I'd rather not set Didn't my bear Zach... on. Yes, Zach already burned the nose. That's why I'm so. I set your bear it. on fire one time. Zach. Light a bear on fire once and never let it go. I rep Goldilocks, boy. Oh, I want to talk about this because I was very excited. Um, a fan of ours reached out. And send me a DM on Instagram. He's like, hey, big fan of the podcast. Like, love all three of you. He's like, I just started a clothing uh, company. He's like, can I send you a couple shirts? And oh. I was like, yeah, for sure. And it, so he sent us, like, two like uh, two of, like, each of the shirts or whatever for, like, all three of us. And I'm wearing it right now. It's called I Lunoid. did not receive any shirts. Well, that's because they're right over here. Yeah, they're right over there. We're going to open them. I want you guys to, like, tell me what you think. Hi. This isn't mine. This is a small. They're both hers. The white one's my favorite one. Oh, this it's, is actually kind of cool. It's, it's a pumpkin, cool, right? It's a pumpkin. Oh, with like a skeleton inside of it. Yeah. Look how dope this one is, though. It reminds me of like Nightmare Before Christmas. And then this one's perfect. Skeleton LeBron James, Lakers. Oh, Lake. He would like that. Right? Those are very cool. I yeah, actually really like those. But I want to give you a know, shout out. Lunoid. L-U-N-O-I-D. When you're in a relationship and 
you give like little cute nicknames. What do you think of pumpkin? Mm-mm. Not into it. Right. Never call me pumpkin. Well, Indy, you're also. We've talked about this. You also you hate love. Def- yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> what's pretty a much. what's a good I like pumpkin? I, I I don't think I would, I'd ever, honestly I wouldn't like it either. I don't think I would call like no. I wouldn't be opposed. You look at my dog every time you see him and call him pumpkin. Yeah, but I wouldn't call. <laughs> so you're sexually attracted to the dog. <laughs> Aren't you different? All right, Jerry. Um. What, what do you like to be Can called? Can I have a Swedish fish? I've never had one. Can I just run you through a couple names yeah. and like see which one tickles your fancy? Go for it. I'm going to say like, hey, and then like give me a giggle when it's the right one. I feel like I'm just going to laugh. No, just be like, <laughs> okay. that's how I'll know you like it. Okay. All right, ready? You're yeah. good. Hey, Cupcake. No. Right. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> okay, maybe. Not there yet. Maybe. I mean, like in certain situations, you know, I don't think I have a daddy kink like that, but oh, like. Hey, Mommy. Oh, no? okay. He's a boy. I didn't know. I've never <laughs> seen a genitalia. I'm open to it, though. If you want to show me now, oh. under the table, no one will see except for me. Close your eyes. <laughs> Go ahead. Wow. Nice cock. <laughs> um, all right. Nice last cock. one. What's up, Buttercup? <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate that one. Um, well, actually, if someone said it jokingly. I don't think I've actually ever had. That's a lie, because you told me a nickname that your ex used to call you, and I laughed at you for a solid week about it. I didn't come up with the name. What, what was it? What is it? Bo- booger bo- Bear. Yeah. Booger Bear. <laughs> First of all, I was her Imagine little- being an adult and being called Booger Bear. <laughs> oh my God, that's embarrassing. I was her little Booger Bear. That's embarrassing. Sometimes you call me a little Booger I've bo- never been into the nicknames. I've only ever been called like babe or baby. Yeah. Or child. <laughs> Ew. Or kid. I was looking at you, kid. Huh? You can't. Casablanca? You don't, no. you don't know no, that? I don't think anyone else listening will either. Oh, what are you talking about? That's one of, one of the most famous movies of all time. Is looking at you, kid. Wait, Nick try name, to right tickle now. my fancy. Uh, Booger Bear. <laughs> no, stop. Um, I just got butterflies. Do you, okay, do you prefer hey, babe, or hey, baby? Ooh, baby hit different there. Baby hit different? Yeah. Baby is like a very assertive, babe. Yeah. Like, babe. That's like, that's like I'm in trouble. Yeah, yeah, No, yeah. that's like you're in like kind of trouble. Seriously, babe? My mom? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Sugar? Mm. Honey? Mm. Uh. Uh, uh, that seems, that feels like a mom thing. My mom calls me honey. My mom really? calls me doll. Wait, did you say cupcake for me? Uh, Pancake. I feel like that's a little insulting. Oh. Are you into the whole daddy thing? Dad. No, I'm actually not. Yeah, that's weird, right? Has a girl ever been like, sub daddy? Yeah, but <laughs> I always tell him I prefer father. I've never called a guy daddy. Just hey, weird. I'm glad to know because that. Because I used to call my dad daddy. Ooh, Could you imagine a guy? Can somebody. you imagine a guy being like, baby? I'd be like, where the <laughs> Up. What about infant? Why do you keep going? <laughs> Just way worse. Like, yeah. What about little small baby child who's in preschool? Little baby, <laughs> little, little tiny girl who plays with blocks. I think you just Lego, little Lego girl. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> Don't say yeah? that. You like that? You wanna, say yeah. You like that? No. You want to play in the playground? Well, daddy watches. Zach and I have been arguing. Justice. What? Yes, justice. I mean, because I told Zach, I oh said, "Oh my god, you guys have been arguing and." I, and I don't know about it. <laughs> well, it's a very, yep, that's the end of that it's a very non sequitur like uh, argument. Non sexual argument. Well, all of our arguments have a him, hint of it doesn't end in him choking you. Oh, Everything ends in him choking me. Me choking you? It was the other way around. It would be. It would be. It would be. <laughs> you, if we were in a relationship, you'd be the woman. If no no no, meaning if you were if you guys were in a relationship, Zach would be the dominant, you'd be the submissive. You're a bottom. Ah, uh, why do you have that? Would I like be the dominant or the submissive in the relationship? It depends on who she's with. Well, f- with me, with you, she'd she's be terrifying. She'd be the dominant. If I was in a relationship with Jared, I'd destroy you. <laughs> 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 not like that. If I was in a relationship with Jared, he would not come out alive. Like I would. I like, would be in such a bad place mentally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I was in a relationship with Zach, I'd I think try both my. Of you would I'd, come out fucked up. I'd try my best to like. You'd be submissive. Yeah. Anyway, what I was trying to say was Zach and I have been arguing because I told him, I said I wanted to get a nose ring. Oh, and I think do not get a nose ring. No. Get a nose ring. Why didn't you get it? Did you show, show the picture? No, 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 no. I took a picture, uh, like a, I, a, a Snapchat filter, right? And it was of you a nose ring. It. But it was like, it was like a. You just pull hard. Twist and pull. Don't use your teeth. That's how it's going to go everywhere. Oh, I'm just waiting. If you guys are on the audio, um, that sucks for you, but we're blowing bubbles and you can't see it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't do it. Bubbles bring instant happiness. <laughs> she said, let me get one she bubble. She said. No, I but so I used I a Snapchat filter like- of a nose ring and like I couldn't get it right. So it didn't look good. And it was like a really like thick, like black nose ring. And like, that's not at all what I would get. I'd get like a really thin silver one. Um, 
but I took a picture and I was like, Zach says this looks stupid. Like, should I, I get it? a nose ring? Yes or no? And what were the results? I, I don't know if I saved it. I sent it to seven people. Technically eight, including me. I didn't receive it, That's and now true. I'm mad. Um, See, I knew it. Jared hates me right now. Slip so. my mind. No, Jared hates me right now. <laughs> so. Spoil my bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Minding his business. Um, so oh, I sent I it to one. seven people. You didn't people. deny it, so you do hate me right now. I don't Sick. hate you right now. Continue. I, I hate you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never stopped hating you. Um, that was a joke. Um, I sent it to seven people, and it's four to three that I should get one. I and think you should. Which five. Is, so. Five. Okay, five to three. No, four, including me. Okay, five to four. Okay, so if four... Oh, Jared, you walk in with a nose ring, and there's nine people in the room, and four of them are like, dude, that nose ring sucks. Because I think the picture was bad. Like, because it was a Snapchat filter. It didn't look right. All right, all right, let's do this. To all of the amazing editors and our supporters and our fans, can somebody please edit a realistic nose ring on Jared and post it? On the left side of my face. On the left side of his face and edit it on and we will judge it from a realistic edit. Also, edit Jared with like crazy hair. Like, I wanted to see what he would look like with like different colored hair. Oh, also Photoshop a dad behind dark hair. Photoshop Jared with dark hair. Yes, I want to see dark hair. I also want to see the opposite end of the spectrum where I go like platinum blonde. Absolutely not. No? No. You don't think I could pull off platinum blonde? Give me tattoos. Wait, give me boobs. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if we want those edits. No, don't do that. Um, Weren't you edited onto a porn star one? Yes, I was. <laughs> Ew, that's disgusting. Somebody edited my face on a porn star. Which porn star? <laughs> you got the link? <laughs> Wait, something exciting that I really want to talk about. By the time this comes out, I will have announced that I'm releasing a new song. Great. November 13th, next month. Damn, Zach. Only, well, he, he releases a song every once every six years. Well, it's been a hot minute. It's, it's <laughs> okay, been so. five months. Um, because, okay. He says, I haven't released all year. But I have a new song coming out. It's called Wish You Weren't Always Right. I recorded, I made it with my friend Jake. He wrote it about me because I'm always right in our arguments. I'm actually in the song. Actually, both of you are in the song. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah. (laughs) Zach has a cameo. I have a cameo. And Indy has a cameo. Um, Jared's got a camel. Whose cameo uh, is more important? Well, I feel like. Mine. Zach's. Thank no, you. Zach is the one. Wow. He came up with this idea, and I feel like it completely changed the song. Really? Um, and that's one thing that, I'm like, great at ideas. everybody, one. that's one thing that everybody comments about, like, if I play the song for them. They're like, oh, my gosh, I love that Which part, part was it? I mean, off record. Wait, should I include this part in the podcast? Do you want? I'll do it. Why not? Zach. I just want to feel something. So that's mm. Zach. I just oh and then our friend that Kyla. That makes me sad to hear him say that. He said it so well too. That was the first take he did of that. He said it so wait, which take of mine? Because we did multiple. <laughs> Indy and I did like six takes. Yeah, because we wanted to like get it right. Yeah, because hers was just a little more lengthy. Yeah, it was lengthy and like she had to say it in like a specific cadence. Um and I I chopped that bitch up. Really? Like that's from like there's a part from like all six takes. Really? In there. Yeah. And then I even I uh, I even I want to hear in. it. Okay, I'll play it for you after this. Our I friend Kyla's in it as well. She's in the second chorus. Just talk to me. She says, "Just talk to me," and I I love that part because I feel like those two being in it at the two different points. It's almost it builds talking, like a yeah. it's a conversation, and like that's what the whole song. So the the song is about it's a it's about being in a relationship where you really love and care about the person, but also you can't help but do everything to mess it up, you know. And so it's like that's why it's like I wish you weren't always right. Like I wish you weren't always the one. Or like I wish I wasn't always in the wrong here. And it's <laughs> like I can't live without you, um, you know. But you can't live with me kind of thing and so and then indy's part comes at the very end damn it doesn't even sound like me no and That's so weird because i had to i put on like an american accent as well it's a copy of a real voicemail that an ex-girlfriend of mine left that i thought like fit perfectly with that song um 
And I sent it to her and I was like, hey, just want to let you know, like, this is in it because I had to get her permission to do it. And she was like, well, in her defense, it was a very, it's a very, it's a very personal, personal message. So, so she was like, I'm not really comfortable because like I told her, I was like, obviously nobody would know it's you. Yeah. I wouldn't say but it. But it's obviously so very personal and near and dear. So I just, yeah. I redid it. Yeah. And so it made it sound exactly the same. That's <laughs> the song. And I'm very excited. Pre-save it now. The link in my bio on my Instagram. Yeah, and right. Everywhere. Um, it'll, my, the link will be everywhere, but. And once I decide to release music again, we'll talk about that. Exactly. All right. All right. What about this as a pickup line? Hey, how do you like your eggs? Fertilized? What? The no. Yo. Hell? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Ah, um, no. No, it doesn't work. Honest, <laughs> kind of intense. That's um, a lot. Okay. I mean, I get it. Hear me out. It's creative. You get points for creativity. Okay. I'll give you that. But never, ever say that to me I again. also might not talk about impregnating somebody uh, on the first night that you meet on them. The, on the actual first sentence you say to them. <laughs> <laughs> Even though COVID-19 is a thing, um, your smile is still the most infectious thing in the room. That's good. I love that. It's very, um, what's That's the word? Great. Very topical, very current. And at least with, with that, you know that like they thought of it recently. And yes. it's not like the same It's not same like he's been using one. it. Exactly. You know? Perfect. Any others or is that it? Let's see what I got let me see what I got. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue, and guess what? My bed has room for two. Oh! Well, I it mean, doesn't because like, it's a twin bed, but <laughs> for now. I dig that. I dig it if I'm in the mood for that, yeah. but if not, I'm like, go away. It's confident, but it's also kind of aggressive. Like, yeah. it's, it's a lot coming out. Roses are red, grass is green. Oh, no, I, I hate this one. When I think of you, I play with my wiener. Ew. Ew. I'd that call the puts cops. you on. Yeah, I'd, call, I'd put you on a register these, for that. These are people. This is their send in to me. I know. I read them all in your story. Is this the Hogwarts Express? Because I think you and I are headed somewhere magical. Oh. oh. And coming from a girl that just watched all the Hogwarts movies. Hogwarts, 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 Hogwarts movies. movies. It's not oh. like we started watching them together or anything. That's sick. No I haven't there. finished. I'm so I'm on the Deathly Hallows part two. Oh, okay. That's so. one of my. Favorites. She's on the last movie, and I'm on the first movie. But okay, you know, we'll she finish, waited. and I'll wait. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> We're going to do another segment of Zach Oh, reacts. no. Oh, and I got... I'm already mad at my mom, too. Oh, so. and she sent me the mother load today. Oh, oh speaking of mother loads, um, <laughs> Julie, how are you doing? Do you think my mom's disappointed in my ass? I think she is. I think, yeah. Mom, these are all jokes, okay? I'm a virgin. <laughs> so, we're going to do another bit of Zach reacts. And I'm very excited about these. Uh, and my eyes, should, should they be closed? Oh, they should be closed. My eyes are closed. Um, <laughs> Indy's not going to like this one. Oh! Oh! What the hell? Here we go. Uh, Zach, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> who, who made the decision that we're going to do Sexy Beetle? <laughs> sexy Beetle? Oh, that makes me so mad. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, I had no control over this, okay? I was Ex walking- Explain the picture. I was walking you in- You look like a bearded dragon sex toy. <laughs> uh, that was LA Fashion Week. I had no control in what I wore. I thought it looked absolutely stupid. I was so embarrassed, so embarrassed. And it was so heavy too. It was so heavy. Yeah, I'd be embarrassed too. Never you, talk about you look that. At you look like Sesame Street's characters that they just like never use. It's just like a concept <laughs> piece. Like, what about the scary beetle thing? She looks like the worst superhero ever. I guess actually no. That that, that screams was so, more I like. Was so you look like a Power Rangers supervillain. Oh my god, she was, I was so embarrassed, bro. So embarrassed. Wow. Like, that's can you imagine fashion? having to walk in front of like hundreds of people in that? I would never. And it's they gave me really high heels, and I had to hold it because it was super heavy. I had to try and balance it at, at the same time while walking in like six inch stilettos. And it's F crazy because like the outfit still made an improvement on your like normal appearance. <laughs> that was for you, Zach. Oh, thanks. I, did, I wasn't sure. Mm. This picture. Eyes closed. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Let me, can That's I open? That's. Three, two, one. Still not as bad. I thought this Dude. was funny. <laughs> Dude. Wow, that girl on the left you're, is You're tall. the guy that in your mind, you're like, I hang out with all the girls, but er all the other guys are like, yeah, because no one wants to have sex with them. <laughs> That's oh. this, what this photo screams. Can we talk about how tall... Are oh, you on the ground? Are, I Dude, think most of them, except I think 
I think everybody on the left side of the screen, uh, that's my cousin. So this is my cousin's wedding. The girl on the really... The girl on the left is a wide receiver. She is tall. Close. She's an Indianapolis Colts cheerleader. Everybody on the left side of the screen because my cousin married an Indianapolis Colts cheerleader. How many girls, how many of those girls, you didn't hit, you didn't, nothing happened, right? Dude, I was what? I was 14 in this picture? Nothing happened with any of them. Really? And I look like that? Not even the little mama in the red dress? You decided to go for the comb over look. It's interesting. Hey, listen. This I, looks those, like the worst time. Yeah, um, it's not that bad. Not as bad as mine. Not you as keep bad. picking really bad photos for me. Well, that's because you have a bunch of really. I thought honestly, I thought Zach would roast that harder. You look like the peanut butter baby all grown up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, oh, no. should we get into I some? Dude, I hate when that happens. I hate it. it sucks, right? Self tanner. Damn it, man. Anyway. Let's get into some fan questions. Let me talk to you. Next time we're talking about anything sad and I'm clearly reflecting, don't cut back to it. Because I had that many DMs of it being like, Indiana, are you good, bro? <laughs> Dude, I was like, I knew exactly what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, I, I, knew, knew I knew it. I know exactly. What Watching I was it, I was like, wow, he's keeps going don't back. Don't do that. It looks sad. Breathe. Breathe. Oh, spread the so, um, I ha- I'm kind of in a situation where... I'm about to go to college. I'm 17, and I'm starting to apply to colleges. And there's this one college that you can have. You there's a LA campus, and but there's also another college that I want to go to that's in Miami. So they're both amazing schools, and I both and I want to go to both of them equally. And I'm so so confused as to what to do because my dad wants me to go to one, but. I don't know. That kind of just makes me want to the, to go to the other one more. And it kind of stresses me out a little bit. So, yeah. Plus, also, at least in Florida, I have family. But in LA, I feel like I'd have more of a, I don't know, more opportunities. Oh, yeah. But- go to LA. You got to get away from your family. I think. Like, especially now because that's when you learn the most about yourself yeah because at 18 17 18 i left to go to college and that's like once you're on your own that's when you know like kind of what you're made of and you start forming your own thoughts and beliefs and then when you're home you can kind of be throttled by beliefs of like your parents and your hometown friends and things like that so i think you need to go leave as far away from home to experience life even if it's just for a short time maybe it's just a year but i think it's really important to get away from friends and family. yeah you're going into your adult life you need to figure out who you are and what your beliefs are and what your thought processes are without having the comfort of like your mom or your dad being right there to like guide you or you know tell you how maybe you should think or wh- how you should do things so i think you should do what makes you happy at the end of the day and if that is going to the school in miami then go to the school in miami but if you are debating on it just try something new go to la live your life do it while you're young and you don't have like Like you have time to fix it if you don't like it or if you make a mistake or if you want to go home like you've got time like you're young you're 17 exactly like if you go to la for a year and you're like oh no i actually really freaking hate this and then that's you spend a year there and then you go back to the miami campus or whatever and you're still what 19 18 yeah and you can hang out with us every day we're in la you can live with me. We already share a room. Are we putting a third person in there? A Jared, why do you get how to bring that up, man? There are women that watch this podcast, and I don't think they want to. Hear. And what what are you, what are you gonna do with the women that watch this podcast? Are you gonna bring them back to the room that we share? No, this is what we do. Okay, if we want to bring someone home, I'm gonna need you to leave. First of all, you're gonna help me rearrange the room. We're gonna to take, make it look like one person. Yeah, there. we're gonna take your bed and your thing out. Oh, and that looks like I just got like a this big old bachelor pad. Good call. And then you're going to have to jet. You're going to have to leave. Maybe Malibu, like you did the other day because you got sad. You drove to Malibu? I did. He was going to go to San Diego. Well, isn't that, what, how far is it to get to Malibu? 40 minutes. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, no, I had, I had a Malibu day. You know how like Zach went to San Diego? I had a Malibu day. I went up there and I, I got some ice cream. Zach got mad at me for the ice cream that I got. Because it was keto ice cream, which means well, it's no, sugar free. No, you can't. You said, "Yeah, Zach, I had a Malibu day. I went to the beach, and then I uh, I got ice cream. It was sugar free." And I said, "Don't, dude, don't tell me that." Well, I'm starting to like work out again and like watch okay, what but, I eat. And so, but if you're having a sad day, get some good ice cream. Oh, but it was delicious. It was I had so a sad good. day too. You know where I went? Where? My bathroom floor. Malibu sounds like more <laughs> fun. I went to the pier. I, I got just didn't want to. I wanted to drive somewhere, but um, went to the beach. Next question, eh? What's up, Paul? 
Oh, um, dropouts. I was wondering, I'm in that weird stage of your wife in middle school. Your where, wife? Life. Like, life. I'm in that weird stage, and I feel like I'm a very weird person, and everyone thinks I'm weird. But I don't really want to change because I like who I am. But I feel like I'm being pressured by other people at my school um, and just socially with friends that I have to change. So that way I'm not as weird or that they aren't embarrassed to be friends with me. So, yeah. Thank you. And Team Jack and Jared on the way. But um, Let's go. Amen. Can I say something real quick? He, okay. Before you say it, if you say anything mean, he said, Indy, I still love you too. Oh, I would never. Okay. Never. <laughs> She's just like, boy, you. Listen, right. I know how we get when somebody doesn't pick your team and I just wanted to no, be. No, no, no. I think it is one of the most amazing things to be happy with who you are as a person at such a young age. And if you were happy with who you are and the choices that you make in your life, don't change for anyone or for anything. Clearly, if you're hurting someone, you're affecting someone's life and they're like being put in pain by the things you're doing, maybe switch it up. You know, try something new. And middle, but, middle school is such a weird time. No I one, know. No one's perfect. No one's cool in middle no school. No one knows what's cool no. in middle school. God. Oh, they're like, this is probably cool. I was dressing like a bug in middle school. Yeah, you so gotta, You got to fix that. <laughs> oh, <know>, man. <laughs> Just stick to who you are. Like you said, you're comfortable with yourself. And if they're not comfortable with you, then those aren't the people you want in your life anyway. Yeah. And you being your truest self is a gift to the world and you will attract people that are like you if you're your truest self and that's how you become your happiest. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you have to weed out the people that suck and don't see how special you are. He's a team Zach, I can tell. What can I do to be less socially awkward and being able to meet new people and have good conversations with them and also how to start conversations and keep those conversations going for more than a day with like in dms on like snapchat or like insta that'd be great and i gotta say team zach 60 percent team indiana 38 oh cheer team whole milk two percent two percent thanks guys Wow, that's interesting. I did not think I thought he was going to be one of those Indiana haters. Like a hundred percent. But I was Zach. I was correct when I said Team Zach. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I've got the worst social anxiety ever. But also, I mean, you put yourself out there, and like it's it's really. Yeah, I think I a lot of it is about faking it so you make it. I think you're. I guess in situations where I need to put on a face and just like act like I'm not having the worst panic attack in my head right now, I can do that. But. Yeah, I don't know. I've got really bad social anxiety, and I can't. I like even at parties or anything. Like I shut down, shut down. I just I don't. Need, if if there's no one I know, I'm like I'm out. I dip immediately. You, don't you have a tequila shot, and you're good. You know what <laughs> I mean? You're, you you both socialize with everybody and anyone, and I just shut down. First of all, I'm not recommending that you have a tequila shot to talk to people. Yeah, Jared, you're kind of like that guy off of uh, oh, the Big no. Bang Theory, where you have to drink. I've never seen that. Oh, this guy, he what? can't he can't talk. I've never seen it's the not Big Bang a good Theory. show. I love that show. It's such a bad show, um, but you have to have like a sip of alcohol before you can like but once i do that because then it like i i also like i have bad social anxiety so i put up a wall and like if people come up and talk to me i'm fine you know i i can talk to them all day but like if i have to go and like approach somebody without you know like just out of the blue i'm terrified yeah um uh, but zach's favorite thing is to like put a couple shots in me when we go to a party and then, and then just I just like, point at people. Yeah. He just goes, that's what I did at, uh, like Saxon's or see yeah, Saxon's Halloween party. Let them know that it was year. last year. Oh yeah. This is last year. This is a long time ago, but, uh, Zach would just be like, go talk to them, see what their deal is. And he'd be like, I, and I'd be like, what, what costume are you? And they're like clearly just dressed as like a nurse or something. I also think it helps to put on. I like it, if alcohol isn't an option, which it shouldn't be all the time. Do a f- ton of crack. No. <laughs> I get behind the crack stuff. I was going to say put on like a character, you know, huh? like pretend to be. I always pretend to be like Willy pretend Wonka. to be myself, but like you know? I always pretend to be like a more confident version of myself, which sounds really dumb. But it, it helps. Me. Yeah. Who, who's your most, who's your favorite, most confident person? And then while you're texting and doing those things, just kind of per, pretend you're them and emulate them until you find confidence enough to be yourself in those moments. 
and then just and try to talk about things you're confident about and like you have interest in. What is she what doing? What are you doing? Oh, it's in my pocket. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, recently when I was talking to somebody that I like I matched with on Tinder, I, I was I found myself asking when I was like I was trying to be like funny and like flirty and whatever. I was finding myself asking. I was like, how would Zach respond to this? I find myself thinking the same when I'm in like situations where I that like I'm with people I hate or if I'm like needing to be smart or witty or just like a more confident person I'm like what's Zach do <laughs> like immediately I mean well, that's cool appreciate it guys well I like I just don't I'm blessed I don't have he said I'm blessed <laughs> no no not <laughs> we get it Zach. not that I'm just blessed in the sense I don't I don't have like social anxiety or anything like that like I can talk to absolutely anybody not that I want to but if you put me in a room it's like hey yeah Zach doesn't want that's the thing Zach does not want to he can but he doesn't. But want he doesn't to. want to. Most of the time, I don't want to talk to you. Everybody wants to be Zach's friend, but Zach doesn't want everybody to be his friend. Like he does not want. I just don't care. Enough. He doesn't care. Because <laughs> then you got to find out. Oh, what you like doing that? I saw a Sick. tweet that reminded me, and it was like, man, how many times do I have to tell someone my favorite color is blue until I find the one? <laughs> That's how I feel. Dude. <laughs> and I was just like, man, that's true let's get into some relationship questions this one i thought was funny it's kind of like a, that a, is funny a friendship Hilarious. relationship question it's not your normal video that he submitted hey guys uh i'm saying i love the show um i love everything about it uh you guys are great <laughs> where's this going um, zach andy uh, Jared, I love you. Love you guys. You guys do Please amazing send. work. Dudes. I love to see the podcast. Uh, I just have a question. Um, <laughs> oh. How do you guys pretty much fix a relationship with your uh, friends? Because I feel like Zach is not that fair to Indy. And uh, I around. really just need you guys' help. <laughs> I've got point to say friends. this. Please and Zach help. is so mean to Indy. And Indy does not deserve it as a person. Um, I would just like to say you guys are great. Are you not? It's and the joke is he doesn't believe this. Indy, hashtag, <laughs> hashtag team Indy 100%. Love to see you guys. <laughs> and thank you again. Milk. <laughs> this is one of my favorite videos we've ever been seeing. I love this. That, that was a great video. That's man. hilarious. That's so funny. I just, so, I need But if your words that. were true. Stop being mean to me, Zach. Oh, his words his were definitely not true. Not true. The whole he point. literally held up a if sign and said, "If you're listening to this on audio, um, he's holding up like posters. So he's saying all these nice things about Indy, but he's holding up posters that he's actually like at gunpoint. Yeah, he's held at gunpoint, saying Please these send things. Send help. That is hilarious. Zach, that was so funny. Yeah. That was really funny. I just more funny him. videos. And can we get like funny questions and like awkward funny questions? Yeah, and, like actually, weird. Would you? I don't know. Speaking of which, I'm sick of getting deep and then the, Jared the cutting people... to me looking sad and depressed for views. Listen. So thanks hey, for that, dude. Our Discord was going crazy. They're like, "Is Indy okay?" I was like, "I don't know. I haven't seen her in a couple of days. Why?" <laughs> oh yeah, we started a Discord. Um, link is in the teach description. Me. I asked both of you today to teach me how to use it, and we I feel like we, we said we will when you get here. I feel like yeah. you just don't want to tell teach me how to use it so you can. Continue Continue to roast me on that Discord. Low key, a little bit, yeah. Low key, maybe high key. I've been peeped that you like me. Gotta pee again. What's I'm up? gonna try and learn how to use that tonight, and then I'm gonna hop on and then be more active. But they were going crazy. They're they're asking. They're like, oh, how do I get my question like on dropouts? Like, how do you pick them? Whatever. And it's like, Not I right. mean, they don't have to be. I would love them if they were like as funny and unique as these. But also, like, we want deep questions. But it's like, um, be. I I pick them based on stuff that we've answered in the past right so if like people are like help like um you know i'm i like a guy and i, like I don't guy, know how to tell I, him it's like I, we've answered that a million times i was <laughs> a little aggressive i was just gonna say um you try know, and like, be unique I, yeah i like i like you and i said shut the up go watch the other episodes <laughs> like the the next question i have pulled up uh this girl like she, she has a unique situation where like she likes a guy well, but her, whatever you know, yeah i'll ask it but it's like that's how you do it and please send video questions uh, we got like i remember a couple weeks ago when we said that like we got a huge spike of them again and then immediately they started falling off and like i'm video really, questions video 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 I'm video, really, video i'm really trying to only video, pick video questions video. i still read like the the written out ones, can't read. I still read the written out ones, but what I, I I'm oftentimes Jared, I'm 22 don't and I still them. can't read. That was my Tinder bio for I the know. longest time. I know I swiped right. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, here's the next question. Jindy. <laughs> no, stop with the Don't jindy. say that, dude. Don't. Okay. Jindy. Zach, hi. I'm Audrey, and I have kind of like a relationship question for you guys. So I hope you can answer. What if your sister steals your boyfriend? I know oh. it's kind of stupid, but. Break her nose, I mean, chain her to the back of a car, and then drive her three miles east. <laughs> I hey, don't think that's um, stupid at all. Well, one, drop the skincare routine because your skin is flawless. Glowing. Two, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Um, her sister I, stole her boyfriend. I was about to say I could never have that issue, but my brother's gay, so he would. He could steal your. He man. could steal my man if he wanted. I could steal your man if I want to. And he dresses up as a woman sometimes in drag, so he could really just. <laughs> it doesn't. So matter. he could do drag and then drag those nuts across your guy's face. That's crazy. Is she coming for me or is she peeing? Oh, she's throwing something. You know. Dude, dude how do you have at, the worst? Look at aim. this. I'm not gonna look I get at her. That Ready? I'm, I'm not gonna look. Door, door, door. You did I nail her? She's still barely. Don't, 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 don't. Last time you did that, you hit me in the face. I'm gonna put it away. Okay. <laughs> I have so much power with the flick of a finger. I feel like the only option here is to fight the sister. Like gladiator style. Yeah, like to fight the death. her. Like fight her. No, that's pretty disrespectful for old sissy. That's mad disrespectful, bro. Your own family, your own blood. But right? Also, you don't want that Dang. guy if she dips on. Nah, dips you don't want him. either of them. Cut them both off. Move like, out, dude. The next time <laughs> she out. asks, the next time she asks you to pour, pour her a glass of juice, give her the one with less juice. Got her. Wow, got say. her. <laughs> I wonder if I could hit Jared from this far away. I I don't like this. But that de that's dead on towards that his head, right? Dead. Okay, cool. He just he looked at me for clarification. That was dead mm -hmm. on near his, right? Yeah. I just cool. want to, like, I don't know. I'm just good at throwing ketchup. I just, <laughs> I'm I like just good at throwing ketchup. Hey, Zach. Hey, Andy. Hey, Jared. So I'm wondering, how do you guys deal with anxiety? And how do you continue a conversation with someone? Girl, because blink. I feel like I'm one of those dry texters. Also, I love all three of you guys equally. There we go. Because you guys all make the podcast better. She paused like she was about to roast one of us. <laughs> I know. The, the reason I put this in relationship question, like, Dry texters, the worst. Somebody, the worst, right? I but I can texting? be, I can be that way too. Like you can if tell you if don't. I'm interested or not based on my text, because like my mind. Okay, this is going to sound narcissistic, but my mind is like really quick, so I can be a really, really good texter. Um, so if you don't see that, then bubbles' existence are so short, but yet so beautiful. Like, like they're a butterfly. Their only right. point is calm to be down, Aristotle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then last but not least, the it's time for the memes. What do, what do you, you mean? mean? This one's pie. topical. Indy, anytime Zach says something, will, will you, you shut, shut up, up man? man? I was watching that debate, and it was so funny. Will you, will will you shut, shut up, up, man? <laughs> no, I will not. So funny. All right, Zach telling an awesome story. Yeah. Indy, <laughs> the biggest, most iconic eye roll ever. I roll my eyes a lot. I'm surprised they don't stuck back there. <laughs> She's got really? jokes. That, like was a, that was a joke. Was that worthy of a I don't know sound effect? Sound effects mean nothing now. Yeah. Sorry. Was it worthy of that? No, oh, wait. I don't think it was that bad. I, I think, think it was, it was just a... It's like a kind of a crickets. move on. Yeah. Okay. Didn't know that was, was a, move, a, on a move on. You've had too much caffeine, haven't you, Jared? Yeah. <laughs> Once he starts saying, here we go a lot, that's how you know he's... I love what... I can always scary tell when Jared gets a little Jerry. mad. No, it's not scary, Jerry. It's no, like, I nickname him scary, Jerry. It's disappointed, Jerry. He's like, just shut up and let me do this. And then the last one, I feel this is probably the most representative meme of the three of ours friendship. Hmm. Um, here we go. So it's yeah. <laughs> Indiana, yep. Zach, and me uh, as SpongeBob characters. And it's Indiana's Mr. Krabs choking out Zach as Patrick, who's trying to talk. And then I'm just staring at kind of <laughs> mortified. Pretty much. <laughs> Don't say cucking. <laughs> that um, is exactly our friendship. That's exactly like our what friendship. Lee? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Anyway, that's all I have for you guys this week. Thank you guys so... Wow. What? The podcast is over. I get sad. It's just like the bubbles. It's like it's so beautiful for such a... And now it's gone. Anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, If you made it to the end of the podcast, make sure to DM me. Jared sucks at basketball. That way I'll know that's you stayed. That's going to hurt his feelings. Man. That way I know you stayed to the end. Zach, that's, that's going to hurt his feelings. That's too real. That is very real. Thank, thank you, guys. you guys so much for watching episode 17 of Dropouts. We'll be back next week for more... 
fun, spooky, tacular things. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Indiana. I just hit two million. Thank you guys for that, by the way. At Jerry Brown Music, at Zach Justice. Oh, also spam the comments on YouTube just like a hundred million times. Maybe it'll help the algorithm and give us a like, okay? And I won't fight your mom. Yeah, whatever comment you're about to leave, just comment it letter <laughs> by letter. Yeah, let's just let's see how the algorithm works. Hit us with some outro music. What do you think about me Stop. in the shower? Please don't make a mom joke or a sex joke or any joke. Just it's not a bye. joke if I'm really having sex with your mom. I knew it.